Hi, I'm Diana, founder of Zero Work. In this video, I'm going to show you how to avoid saving duplicate results uh, whenever you collect data. In the last few videos, I showed you how to save a list of profiles from search results from LinkedIn. We searched for developers and then we saved the search results of the profiles from LinkedIn. Now imagine on the next day, you would be running the same taskboard, but for a new search keyword. Perhaps it's not going to be developers anymore, but it's going to be front-end developers. Now, in that case, there might be some overlap. So there might be profiles that are going to show up in both search results. That might lead to the situation that you end up with a data table that contains duplicate profiles. So let's check this data table. We've saved about 50 results. But later, I also added some additional profiles which are duplicates of the original ones. So, for example, this one, or apologize, this one is duplicated with this one, or this one is duplicated here, this one, and so on. So, uh, there are about three or four results which are duplicated. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove these duplicates. So, let's go back to the workflow and let's add this building block called Remove Duplicates. Let's select the data table where we want to remove the duplicates, profiles, and then let's select a column uh, that should be checked. It's always recommended that you select a column because uh, if you don't select any column, then the testbot is going to, uh, to check whether every column is the same as in the, in the other profile or in the other row. That will just uh, make this operation a bit longer and there is no reason for that because profile link is always unique. So if someone, if you have two rows and they have the same profile link, you, you are guaranteed that those are uh, the same profiles. So let's check, uh, let's select profile link. Now let's also add a building block after repeat. And the reason I added after repeat here is because I want to avoid making these actions on every loop iteration. Remove duplicates is a building block that is a batch operation. A batch operation simply means that your taskbot uh, does not perform this action on just one row, but it actually takes the entire data table uh, and you might have 1,000 results, 2,000 results in your data table and it checks for duplicates uh, on all the rows and then removes them. So if you are um, using this action on every loop iteration, your taskbot run might be significantly slowed down. All right, and after a repeat, building block ensures that this action is um, executed just once after the whole loop has already finished. Now, before I run this taskbot, I would like to make some adjustments, which are also useful tips for you whenever you are building and testing your workflow. First of all, I'm going to enter zero into the number of repetitions. The reason I entered zero right now is because I want my taskbot to skip the entire loop and not paginate through all the results, search, uh, uh, save the search the results and so on. Because all I want to do is to demonstrate remove duplicates action to you. Another step that I'm going to take is I'm going to deactivate this open link so that the taskbot is not even opening LinkedIn because uh, for this specific use case, uh, I also don't need that. So let's run this taskbot. And those are, by the way, useful tips for you. Whenever you are building and testing your workflows, you can simply enter zero into your loop in order to skip the entire loop or also deactivate some building blocks. All right, now let's check the data table. Let's scroll down. And as you can see, the duplicate profiles were removed.